I moved the iMac right behind me, right there. I moved the shelf up manually. I performed a manual override of the normal desk um, hardware. <laughs> so yeah, hoping that doesn't fall on the iMac. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm on the street, and look at this. That is right. That is an iMac. I mean, we already had an iMac here, um, but this is an Intel iMac. It was actually a donation from uh, one of my parents' friends, and they actually thought it was a monitor when they gave it to me. But I was like, hey, this is a computer, and you know, they still didn't really need it. So they uh, passed it along to me, and I just have to say before I even start this video, thank you so much. Just a little insight into what I'm going to be using this for. I will go ahead and I'll see what I can use it for in terms of video editing, because I know Mac OS has some very good video editing software. I'm not sure about the power of the computer itself, but what I do know is that you do need a Mac to make... Um, to make iOS applications, so iPhone and iPad apps, uh, you need a Mac to develop. So at the very least, I will be using this Mac to develop for iOS, and once again, uh, if you guys are watching this, I don't know if you want me to say your names or not, but thank you so much, um, and thank you to everyone who, who donates things, from from full computers just to small parts, it really, it I appreciate it so much. Anyway, today I will be installing Snow Leopard on here. Uh, it does have Leopard on it right now, which I have nothing wrong with, but I might as well install Snow Leopard. Since I'm doing the clean install anyway, I know it goes a little faster. Now, this iMac came with the Apple Pro keyboard and Mighty Mouse, and those two things are always great to use. Alright, so now that we are done with all of that, we're going to go ahead, and this is going to be a handheld video, because I don't have a tripod, uh, once again, sorry, but restart, restart, going to hold down the option key, and once again, the option key is the key that says option, it's not the key that says command, I know we've had that problem before, so holding down the option key, Mac OS X. Excellent. I have the Snow Leopard installation disc on a USB disc. At the very least, even though this is handheld and it's shaky, uh, be glad that that this is a flat screen and not a CRT. Try and stabilize the camera here. Here we are. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to do this with, like, an actual real Mac. I've done this with like Hackintoshes and stuff before, but I've always wanted to do like a new installation on a real Mac. And I actually am. And the Mac belongs to me. I am so freaking happy right now. Okay, um, so yeah, continue. Agree. Install Mac OS X, customize. Actually, we're just going to leave this at the default um, settings, except we don't want language transi translations because we don't use them. We want all printer support. Okay, let's go ahead and just click install. Sweet. 42 minutes. That is fine. Okay. Alright, sorry, I missed it again, but the bottom bar where it said 9 minutes remaining, it just said the installation is complete, and then it went to the screen. Install succeeded. Mac OS was installed on your Macintosh HD disk. Computer must restart to complete the installation, so we'll restart. And this is the first screen I've ever had that actually reflects, and there's the, the Macintosh bong. Focus, please. Thank you. Alright. Oh, here we go. So, what? Excuse me. Will somebody please tell me what's going on here? Setup assistant is what that says. What the heck? I don't understand what's going on.
I just logged in. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. What the heck? What the heck was that? So what I think happened was we did successfully update to 10.6, but I think that was all that happened. I think it just updated. So I'm going to restart and completely wipe the disk, and then I'm going to re I'm, I'm going to install. We'll see if that works. All right, and we just installed that again. So here we go. Restart and first boot all over again. And I did remember that Macs usually take a little bit longer to start up on the first boot, so. That's probably why it's like taking this long, even though Macs are usually pretty quick. Here we go. Yes. Yes. That is absolutely beautiful. You have no idea how happy this makes me. All right, US, uh, do not transfer information. Uh, Wi-Fi network, even though we'll probably want to plug in. All right, Apple ID, putting the phone down so I can type. All right, filled all of that in. Uh, primarily uses computer home business. What best describes what you do? other and stay in touch uh, create my account I'm not taking the camera down because I'm worried about anyone stealing my password um, it's just because I, I can type easier like this if it makes you feel any better um, even if I was holding the camera up you still would not be able to tell what I was saying or typing because it would be too shaky so uh, select time zone Let's do set time zone automatically. Determining current location. Awesome, Oakville, Missouri. Next, today is date and time. That is correct. Um, okay. And my God, it's beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm going to get Xcode or Xtools, whatever it's called on here, so I can start developing for iOS. Um, and I'm going to check out video editing software, too. So once again, thank you guys who um, gave this to me so much. Uh, I really will make sure that it is used to its full potential. So, uh, yeah, guys, that was setting up um, a 20-inch iMac from early 2008. I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm on the street, and I will see you later. See ya.